Right, so Saturday the 7th, quarter past two. I am currently now on the 1079. Uh, we've had an accident. Well, I and Lucas, who's working, fitting the boiler today. But these things happen in these situations. Always got to stay positive. The main thing here is that Lucas is okay. Van and metal doesn't matter because it can always be replaced. Come on then, let's see what he's done. I'm going to try and get out here because obviously it's busy. I'm going to scope past now, really tight. Come on then, Luke, what have you done? Tell them what you've done to your van. So we've been talking about getting a new van, but this is one way to get a new van quicker. Just write your van off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, jokes aside, seriously, you're well, you're fit, you're healthy, you all all right? Yeah. Sound, that's the main. So, we're here now, like I say, we're Luke, my hair's a complete mess, but in these situations, we've always got to make sure the engineers are fine, and he's having a giggle. He said, you're the only company that will laugh at situations, but what's the point of mine about it, mate? It's a bit of metal, look. A bit of masking tape on that, it'll be good to go. <laughs> it's like the boiler <laughs> Right, morning guys, so it's Monday morning, uh, just popping out to the van now, checking how my van's going. I've heard a little bit of noise going on outside, so I've had to come outside and investigate. Oh now then, <laughs> fancy seeing you here at what time is it? 20 past 7, what are you doing? I'm performing magic, I'm making that van. Oh, what's happened to that Luke? <laughs> I left it here over weekend and I'll come back to that. Harley's been playing football obviously. I know, he's got a good boat on him. <laughs> Blessed Luke, he's in this little van. To be fair though, it's not bad, is it? So this is Luke's new van at the company now. Yep. He's been degraded. No, he's just in this van. This Demotion. is demotion. This is a spare van we keep at the company. Reason being for things like this happening. Uh, we always got to keep a spare van just sat there ready just in case. So Jessica's job today is imminent to look for a new van. Uh, you'll see it earlier in the video, like say, Luke had a bit of an mishap over the weekend. But it happens and we're still alive and breathing. You going to see it go? Do I need to take the bricks with me or not? I'll take the bricks, mate. You never know, you'll never know, do you? Are you going to see the van go or not? Yeah, but I didn't realise this. <laughs> the impact demolished this racket at the back. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, God. That's how good my joinery skills are. People. You have to rack your van out there, aren't you, and see what happens and see if you can do it, aren't you? Yeah. That looks good, though. Tidy van. I like it. I like it a lot, low key. So, after he's popping back to the office, got to meet Matty, sort some bits out with him there. Uh, have a quick coffee, catch up. I'm just literally making breakfast now. Pancakes for the kids and all that stuff. And then off we go from there. So, I'm going to pop back in, finish what I'm doing as a dad, and I'll see you very shortly. Dale, and I agree with you on that one, mate. So, we're in the office now. It's 20 to 9. I'm trying to get out, but Dale wants to make him another coffee. I totally agree. That is money going out. But on the contrary, now Luke can do his job, can't he? I thought it was a plumbing eating. Was we a plumbing eating company at one point? <laughs> and now we've got this guy buying joining the tools that I've got a wet top to fit. Oh good, it comes in a bag, Mint. Is there a bag with it? Look at Luke, he's like a kid in the toy shop. Mate, this is like Christmas all over again. Oh, I've got a govy on weekend, I've got some wardrobes to fit. Mate. Can I borrow the chops off? So Luke's wet ball pan on the bathroom up today, so we get the proper gear. We aren't going all up buying the expensive stuff first, we've just gone for this Evolution 185 sort with these tracks. Does it give you clamps as well? It might be worth wearing some G clamps if need be. Oh, sorted. Look at that. Is that a good bit of kit or not, Len? Not bit then. Dale, how do you put up with that written warning there, right there? <laughs> We're back. It's come to give me hand. Back to this one if you remember from a few weeks ago. So this is the fourth toilet going in, but this will be fine today and I've changed it all together. Only issue I've got is I'm connecting back to the lead stack, which isn't a problem. I'm just going to these McCall pan, rigid pan connector, so I'm gonna put it on there, measure it up. Mark it up, gaffers with me, more for the security side of things because, yeah. So I'm not going to bore you not to fit the toilet, feet roll, tape roll, just keeping that there. We're getting it filled up now, so I have to re drill the holes there. That is what it is. I'm going to give it a flush, make sure she's all good. So you see, we've got the flexi there, I'll tuck that in, then pan connect there. Need to make sure it's all nice and watertight, but hopefully she should be good. I love going to a job with it, don't you, Dale? Uh, you feel about that toilet's in, don't you? Working. Yeah. So that's done testing now. I'm just going to set the water levels up, make sure it's all alright. 
which to be fair, is flushing good, done this pan. So you get Dale to bang the seat on, and then what I'll do is I'll, uh, oh no. Oh, I just stood on it. <laughs> it's all right, we can sort it, don't worry. So I've sorted the toilet a little hiccup out. What I've done is a bit that I just stood on bikes and I've put in there and that'll mow along. She needs to cut these down anyway, so stop panicking. It's in hand. But I've left the lid at the office, but that's another job for another day. Now it's getting done today. Toilet's in working then. What I need to do now is move the sink over. So we've fitted it as required, but you can see there it, it, it does go in, but want the tap a little bit close, there's more of an overhang on that. So I'll take this outside the template for the new one cut the new one and then shift it all over. But just me a image of this same size, new bit of wood cut down, give it a good sand down and she's good to go. So I've lifted that off. Dale's got the new wake top. Guns, to make that branding, he's on point. They look good, look mint. That's, That's off. <laughs> so again, when I'm fitting these, you guys go mad and absolutely put loads of silicone on. You need to put a couple of blobs, so you can see I've blobbed it there and blobbed it at the back. That is more than enough to hold that down. Couple of blobs for that, then if it ever needs to come off in the future, it's nice and easy. I'm gonna take this outside to the van now. Uh, recut it, drill it out again, reposition the tap to there. So I'll just make use as a template, put it on top of the one, then, and then it's good to go. So, tedious these little jobs, but we'll get them done. So, we've cut this down now, make sure for the box now. And what I'm doing now, Dale, Dove House here, taking a Christmas tree. How does that work? Take a Christmas tree, mate, I just don't know. But this is going to be exactly the same as the old one, so you can see we've cut it, sanded it all down, so it's exactly the same. If anything, it's maybe a mil smaller, but you won't know, literally by a millimetre. What I've got to do is, this is going to be a sink position in here, so I've marked that already, but that's where I want that. I want that to come slightly further forward. Do you see what I've done there, Delio? Yes, sir, that's your template. That's the one, mate? Yeah. And that's where the sink was, so it needs to be further. So what happened is the tap was maybe there, the tap now is going to protrude to about there now. So then the client, when they wash your hands, it happened. But that really is as far as we can go. The client requested at the time we fitted it, this central and that central from there to there. So you can see if you measure it from there to there, it's somewhere thereabouts. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Installing a toilet seat. Let's see how long we can text it then. So we all remember from the video a few weeks ago, it took about four hours and I hung everything else, like I say. Who's ringing me? It's going to be a good, good hour and 20 minutes. So we've got a client ringing us now. Hey Mark. So that is the only thing sometimes I'm trying to get away from my phone ringing. Obviously, all the clients that I've done work for in the past being the one man band because we have now come back from me in a van to me in a van with Dale fitting the toilet seat. <laughs> no, seriously, it's, it's the switch over. I've got two phones now, so I'm trying to merge out that phone. Reason being is like, see, catch 10 number off and do it. Clients will still ring, but inevitably I will always push them to the office. If you need help doing local, 01427622888, that is the office's number. So again, they'll just set the call, but they'll just come with this job today just to finish it off, like I say. So they want to fit a toilet seat again, so I said, you can crack on. Van it is in, he's doing that. I've left the system lid at the office. Silly me, but not in the world. I just need to put another screw in this fix in here because uh, I forgot to put one in there, so it's just moving a little bit. But that's not in the world, we can do it. Sinks in now, and you can see how much that is overhanging. And that is absolutely perfect. So, yeah, one man band to a fully fledged business. And Dale can't fit a toilet seat. This guy manages the company, and he can't fit a toilet seat. Look, mate, it's not my job. Listen, it's not my job to book it in, not my job to fit it, but I'm doing it. That's what I do. <laughs> So is there any better loft to be working in? Nice and spacious, look at this. So the one I'm at now here is a, got an idea logic, F1, it's lost pressure. Uh, we moved the radiator, can't remember now, but it should be a bit there in the system. I think if anything, it should have zeroed out. So I'll fill that up now. Being a bit of air in that to be fair though. So quick that goes up. It's quicker, I don't think, that, I think that's just being there that you can sell. By the way, the gauge is going up now. So it's going to fire now because stats in demand. But I mean, a reason being is I leave that fence. We're going to lost it, sir. Placing this stat. So this one is dead. I'm going to whip that off there. Put new one there. So I'm going for the Honeywell TR3 firm stat. So it should be double this one. Don't need my maintenance bag. So we're opening this up. Beautiful. 
proper set of kit there, proper set of kit, kit of set, whatever you call it. I trapped myself to one of these new Unilite pens, so I'm impressed with that. So it's the Unilite pen like that, so it flicks open. So we have our Harry Potter, Harry Potter wand like that. That is mint, look at that. Harry Potter wand. Then we've got bright, then on the back. One thing I like about this though, is that, so I can stick that to my boiler now and off I go. I'll get on the way, get this change, obviously safe isolation. So I'll get my electrical testers also, whip the fuse out because it's not worth the risk of getting electric shock up here on your own. So I'm just unpacking the new start now. I'll be honest with you, I like these new walls, nice. Fit the EPH here as well. But I'm on these in a lockup, so I'm going to use this. It comes with every screw you can think of. So, again, this is going to go on the back plate. Uh, so, that'll be on the back plate. So, got my screws there. And to be fair with it, whoever's fitted this before has done a good job, made it nice and easy. Because what they've done, if I'm right, you've got a lava neutral layer. Now, these don't need an F, reason being, uh, it's plastic. If I'm right, I a sparky, but they don't need an F. You know, they need to be insulated, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't really care. Doing my job. So I'll get this out. But all I've got to do with this is let's have a look inside of it now actually. I fit a few of these and I was very impressed with them. So it's the same again there, can't really go wrong. Neutral lav, it's asking for an F, so I'm gonna put an F in it to be fair, I'll bring an F there. Uh, and then obviously I've got main and B there, which is my tool switch wise, which is going to go across there for the combi, so on and off. So it's pretty much self-explanatory, easy. And then I've got to mastic the bath downstairs. So after I've done this, I've got to re the bath and I flipping it, masking baths. The Mazzy you know, we've done it before, it's horrendous. So mastic the bath, then just run the heat system test at all. Uh, put a plug on the drain as well in the kitchen because someone went and fit the kitchen sink, left the plug off the drain. So when they fill the sink, water pees out. So nevertheless, we are here. We only solve problems, but long working today, it's a uh, hello darkness, my old friend. And you'll see an earlier looks crash his van, but Jessica's in the office now, imminently looking for your vans. Again, situation like this, you've got to stay positive. I don't see the negative. One of the vans has been done in, there's no point in getting repaired. We'll see if we can get some money for it, but on the positive, we're getting your van on the road, branded it will look mint. And we're going to look at renewing the fleet, as we say, like I said. Just hard when you're in a business, like say, you go from like working a van that I was to the business we are now. Expenses come more, your VAT, your payway, your annual tax returns, everything. It just gets start sparling, but as long as you keep an eye on the costs coming in, the costs going out, you will be fine. So the reason being that I tend to go for things like, especially the Honeywell home, so gone on there, nice and easy straight on that back box. Now, had that be someone's downstairs kitchen, I'll be honest, I'd attach it to the wall, but because it's a bit of loft out the way, does what it needs to do for me. So they're easy, and I like these, because literally, set my date, so the year is, got a year 23 in it. I get my phone out, check the time date. Nine, one o'clock. So literally, click you up, come on. So it's year 23. Done. It's the first month. Nan. Uh, Mins. Five to two. Saving. So if I'm right, again, these are easy. So you can put it to water, but what we'll do, put it to manual. So as soon as I turn that on now, I can turn that up like that. So 20.5 degrees is my call. So we're not going to demand that I turn it back down. So signal's being sent back. So now, I want to turn it up. Should bring it on. Done. C for central eating. Jobs are good on it. So it just shows you why we tend to like fitting, not the cheapest, but the better gear. Reason being, just simplicity, easy for the customer to wear we go. So I'll get all this other stuff thrown away. So the old satin stuff, satin socks and boots and muddy. I am not putting shoe covers on and uh, trolling mud through the house. So I'll get rid of all this rubbish. Again, other people, tradesmen, see it, leave it upstairs. It does my head in, annoys me. Questionable. It's hard to install to fix, not bad install. I'm uh, 
I'll be honest with you, I'm going for the vertical floor and that is clipped, so I'll give it a quick once over while you're here. Boy, looks good. I'll knock that heat to all. Don't want to be as high as that. But yeah, I'll get tied up and we'll go do the bathroom ceiling. Painstakingly kills me. We go from being elite gas engineers, what you want to call yourself, oil off-tech LPG. And my job now is to strip that mastic out as best as I can. The bath's solid, it's not moving, so we know the bath's good. Should have scratched it all out, which is an absolutely shit job. But this, hopefully, it's got a little bit of a blade on it. I'm just to go along it all like that. Take a bit of time, I know. Go along it like that, all the way along. And get it back to that. And then what I'll do is, that, that's it. There now is be all right. Get the top bit off there. And then uh, try and remaz it all, make it look a lot better than what it was. Yeah. <sighs> Gotta be one of the worst jobs, I'll be honest with you, but got the scraper. Let's go. So I'll be honest with you, that's me done. Bath Mastics, uh, you'll see. You wanna see how we did it step by step, check out our YouTube shorts. If not, if you like the channel, make sure to subscribe if you're watching. I do sit and watch analytics, I'm a sad bastard, but I like to see what goes on with the channel to make sure we are delivering, not me, we are doing good content, and there's a lot of people that watch it that are subscribed. So remember, help the channel grow, like, subscribe, leave a comment, but back to their masticking. So I've carelessly just massed the basin, massed it down the side there. And mass it's the bath as best as I can, so you can see it's a lot better. The only annoying thing there is the moulds literally saturating the tiles. I don't want to put too much of a big bead, but anyway, nevertheless, bath full of water. Health and safety has come to check on me. So what we're saying, Dale, is it's up to your standard of workmanship. It's a good job, man. It's a good job. What do you mean it's a good job? Is that it? It's a good job. Don't know what these look like at this point. It's good. No, they are questionable, aren't they? Yeah, but we're done. Stats on up there. I've, uh, I fixed the kitchen sink waste. What did I use to do that? A rubber glove. It's a story for another day. <laughs> right, so I'm done now on that masticking job. I've popped back in now. I've got a toilet system to go fit. So in this cardboard box, the system that left in the office. I'm going to go drop this in now for the client. And I've got to pop to Beverly. What time is it now? That's wrong. 10 past three. So I should be working reasonable time. Matt's fitting a couple of radiators. Luke's on one of our jobs there doing a bathroom suite. So we are predominantly busy, which is not a bad thing. Uh, again, we are on the hunt for two engineers. It's hard finding people, but you know, the name only went out there on Friday. It's 48, 48. How many have hours into it? But we are going to get someone imminently.